Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Cruising with Zach. Today, our guest is wrestling superstar and local favorite, Ike Phillips. Ike, thanks so much for being on the show, man. Oh, my pleasure. Superstar, I'm not sure yet, but we'll uh, we'll see. Hopefully, Listen, one of these don't days, right? sell yourself <laughs> short, all right? Um, we grew up together. We did. Ventnor Strong. It's been a while. It's been a minute, but we're back. We're back. We're back together. It's uh, good, good to be back with you. Ike. It's great to be back, but even back then, I knew you were destined for greatness. No, nah, come on. Um, well. But when you were growing up, <laughs> who was one of your favorite wrestlers? Uh, by far, it was The Undertaker. That was Oh, the dead man. I love The Undertaker. He's just, he's, his character, and it's, I don't know, everything now wrestling is like moves and this and that, but uh, just he had that character, and he, he played it so well, and he evolved with the time so well, and just like... Well, the longevity, his career. Yeah, he's still going. He's still going. He's still going. Uh, but yeah, he was my favorite. He just, you know, that mystique about him and everything. It's just... um, so Ike Phillips, would you say that you're a villain or would you say you're like a, a crowd favorite? Uh, I'm definitely a crowd favorite. Uh, there's only one place um, that I work as a, as a villain and I do more comedy type stuff for, for them, which is, which is a lot of fun. It's nice to switch it up and a lot of, it's a lot of fun, but uh, most of the time I, I am a good guy, crowd favorite. Um, that's just how it started. Once I started training, it was just like the way I sold the moves and the way I, you know, my persona in the ring or whatever. It just scream good guy. But you never know what'll happen. That's you right. Gotta, that's why you always got to stay tuned, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Stay tuned. Sports coming down the pike. <laughs> um, what is your finishing move? So it's been back and forth between a uh, discus clothesline. Uh, which is I just spin and hit you with a big clothesline. Oh, um, and the other one is a uh, jumping bulldog. So I pretty much, uh, however way I set it up, um, I usually just hit the ropes and I just jump, grab the back of your head or whatever, and just be, go down to the mat. And that's uh, now. Is this something where your opponent has to be fatigued, or boom, you can like the Stone Cold Stunner? You can break it out out of nowhere. I love moves that you can hit out of nowhere. Yeah, it's that's like we're having, we're having a surprise. conversation. Boom, yeah. kicking the stomach, and then yeah, it, your, it your adds to the shattered. surprise of the match. You never know when it's going to come, and that's with my matches. I do like to incorporate my finish early on in the match. You don't see a lot of people do um, because a lot of times you work, especially in the independent scene, you work a lot of different promotions and. Sometimes it's your first time there, or sometimes it's a different crowd from the last time you were there, and they don't know what your finisher is. So when you hit it, it's like, all right, we, we it was at the end. They don't know. They question it instead of like, you know, getting that big pop. So yep, yep. I try to establish it early on in the match that hey, this is my finish. When you actually do see me hit it, this is the one you go you go crazy about. So um, in your opinion, what is the hardest match? To win, you have like hell in the cell. You have a handicap match. You got a lumberjack match. Anything goes match. What do you think is the hardest one to, to win? I would say uh, hell in a cell. Um, I'd say between hell in a cell, elimination chamber, and something I haven't seen in a while, which I don't know if they're ever going to do again, is the uh, inferno match. Oh no! Those Kane used to do the yeah. inferno match. Um, I I don't think getting lit on fire would be uh, too much fun. Or a ring <laughs> surrounded by a ropes that are lit on fire. I don't think that's something I'd uh, be too keen on doing, but um, those probably, I'd say, would definitely be the hardest ones to win. They say when you enter the Hell in the Cell or the Elimination Chamber, it changes you forever. But I you never come out the same. Yet. No, never come out the same. I, uh, I maybe will do that one day. We'll see what happens, but... Uh, I'm not in any rush to get in there. I like my classic style wrestling matches. So I, I stick with those. I did one strap match before. That wasn't. It was fun, but it was painful. I don't know. I didn't like that. I had a lot of a lot of marks on me, but it, it was what it is. So you got a big match coming up. I do. In October. Why don't I you do. talk about that? So October 16th at Stockton University. Uh, doors open at seven o'clock. Um, the uh, match started at eight. I am taking on my my mentor uh, Tank Tolan. Tank has had um, he's had a little career in WWE, uh, Ring of Honor. Uh, so he's a he's an established figure. I learned a lot from him. So we're looking to put on a great technical wrestling match for everybody. And like I said, it's a top university, so another hometown crowd. Expecting a big draw there. And like I say, you know, you got to be there. You never know what'll happen. So it's always uh, there's always a show full of surprises. So there you go. Uh, so something special we do here. On the Cruising with Zach show, we had the lightning round. 
so we're going to try and have a little wrestling spin on it. Okay. Like, kind of like a three count. Okay. Um, so question number one, if you could go back in time and wrestle anyone, who would you wrestle? A, a professional wrestler, who would you take on? John Cena. Okay. Why? Okay. Uh, John Cena, he is probably the biggest star um, in wrestling history. I love the style of matches he does. It's very similar to mine. Uh, I think we would have a really good match. And obviously, I, I definitely admire everything he does. I mean, the kid, his character is just top notch. He's, you can get the crowd. If the crowd boos him all the time, I bet you at the end of the promo, you can get him to cheer them. It's He's. He's amazing. One of the greats. Um, if you could wrestle any animal, what would you wrestle? Depends if I want to make it easy on myself or not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how about this? Let's make it a match, but okay. maybe you, you pull out the upset and you win. Okay, uh, I'm pulling out the upset. I'd say like a tiger or something like that. Oh, okay. I just went to Thailand um, oh, last hey. winter, and we got to pet the tigers and everything, and they were very calm, but... Uh, yeah, they, they were very beastly animals, and if I can pull the upset over a tiger, I think that would be very special. Okay, <laughs> final question. If you could perform a finishing move on any of your family members, who would it be? Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say my mom. No, no, oh, Only because no. of this. Only because she wanted to be a professional wrestler when she was a kid, so oh. I'm doing her a favor. I, 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 it's something easy though. It should be like a sleeper hold or something. No, like no, no. You gotta, you gotta give her the bulldog or whatever. Oh yeah, I'll give her the bulldog, but I'll help her out after shake hands and the ring and the crowd of good nuts. You know what? The crowd would probably love that. I know. You know, bring mom into the ring. Oh, what a great moment! Boom. Maybe we'll have to involve it. her into the uh, into the stock to show if we can if we can make that happen. There I you go. I hey, gotta talk to people. And it's only because she wanted to be a professional wrestler when she was a kid. I don't want to hurt my mom. No, she's a great uh, mom. No one, no one wants to hurt mom. No one no, wants to hurt mom. No. Oh, uh, it's I feel bad stuff. for even saying that now. <laughs> no, well, we can't go back now. No, no, it's, we're live. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> all right, everybody. Ike Phillips, Stockton College in AC, correct? Uh, we're in the Galloway campus. The Galloway yeah, campus. Yep. Okay, Stockton at the Galloway campus, uh, October 16th. Ike Phillips, local favorite. Congratulations, man. You Thanks made a lot. It. I appreciate you having me. Best of luck. Thank you. See you guys.